case you don't know, I'm Ed Emmett, I'm county judge. And for those of you who are new, uh, I have to explain, why is the county judge even involved in this? Because y'all all know I'm not a judge, I'm not even a lawyer, but under you were in the legislature when all this occurred. Uh, after 9-11, the legislature said there's got to be one person in the county that the state can kind of turn to, and the county judge is it, because we like it countywide. But it does confuse the public all the time. I, I get emails and phone calls. What's a judge got to do with hurricanes and emergency management? Uh, I have this other title of Director of Homeland Security and Emergency Management. And then, uh, I'm going to steal a little bit of thunder, one of the good things about going first. Take uh, it all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll you know, just keep eating. <laughs> you know, every, every, every time we have a major event, if things go right, or if we're doing our job right, you're going to see me and the mayor side by side talking about things. Why? Well, because more people know what a mayor is than know what a county judge is. And if you look at the national media particularly, they're always wanting to talk to the mayor of the city of Houston because that's where this occurs. A lot of them don't even know what a county judge is or who it is. They don't know who Mark Sloan and Francisco and the Harris County Office of Emergency Management. So we find it easier and, uh, and frankly more productive if the city and the county really are side by side and, and working together. And so that, that works out well. So having said all that, uh, I joked the other day that the mayor and I searched every way we could to cancel hurricane season this right. year. <laughs> and we couldn't come up with a way to do that. But I am concerned about one thing particularly, and that is all of us keep talking about Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Harvey. Harvey was not a hurricane when it came here. When a hurricane comes our way this year, if it does, then a lot of the people that were impacted by Harvey are going to say, I'm going to get out of here, and they're going to try and evacuate. But we don't need people in Katy and places like that evacuating. It'll, it'll get us right back into the mess we saw when Rita approached. So somehow we've got to need everybody's help if and when that time comes to say, okay, if you're not in the <laughs> storm surge, you still don't want to evacuate. Even if you had four feet of water in your house from Harvey, that's not what a hurricane is going to bring, a traditional hurricane is going to bring. So. That's my big concern this year, and, and that's what I wanted to talk about today mainly. So, Mayor, with your mouth full, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, always good to be with you, Judge. And we've, we spend quite a bit of time together. <laughs> uh, More than we'd like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but the good news is that uh, it's, it's, uh, it's been very uh, positive and um, very supportive and appreciate our relationship with the county. Because, uh, quite frankly, when you're in a chaotic situation, um, you need the city and the county to be in a very positive, collaborative uh, relationship. And so I'm very appreciative of that. And then let me start off, and, and this is an a excellent turnout. It's the biggest turnout since, at least since I've been mayor. Uh, so so thank, uh, thank each and every one of you all for being present. And then let me thank you all, too, uh, for, uh, for what you all did during Hurricane Harvey, of itself, let me let me thank you all, because the uh, the coverage was just incredible and very very helpful. Um, in a time when it was very chaotic, and 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 these these things can, well that was me. Uh, these things can be helpful, or these things can be very hurtful, especially when there's so much on social media. Okay, and the very fact that uh, you all were on the air. Uh, as, as much as you were on it, providing the information, providing us with the coverage, and, and so we could get our message out, was just incredibly beneficial because information was key. And, uh, and, and quite frankly, I think we both will agree, it just helped to save a lot of people's lives, keeping people off the streets, apprising people of where the, the dangerous situations were, uh, when areas were starting to flood, even when they weren't getting notices, things of that nature. So let me thank you. It just points out to how collaborative it is, is it, it, how important it is to be collaborative, and how, how important it is to have accurate information, because it is about information, accurate information, timely information. That's important. So let me just, let me just thank you all 
um, for, for the work you did during, during Harvey, during, before, during, and after as well. And, and hopefully we won't all have to be together as much this summer. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's my hope. Uh, but my mother each other way of telling its own story. So thank you all for being here. And let me thank let me thank all of the staffs from the county to the city. You know, let me thank all of you all for what you did. And Judge, you, you know I love you, appreciate you, man. Well, uh, it, and I'm going to say this in public just so it's clear. People always talk about how we get along. I actually like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> my wife likes this guy. <laughs> well, you know, so. Uh, what you see is really not some made up thing. And that doesn't mean we won't at times right. get in the back room and say, arr, 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 arr. but you know, we've known each other for we work it through. 30 years. So we've been together a long time. So with that, let us go around the room, introduce ourselves, we'll start here. And, and as we get to the media, I'm gonna echo one thing the mayor said. In times of crisis, we do have all the social media, but I can't tell you how important y'all are because the public really does turn back to the traditional sources as the sources they trust. And if all of y'all are saying similar things and you know, Jeff's out there saying similar things, it really does uh, give the public confidence far beyond right. what somebody in elected office might be saying. Right. So we appreciate what y'all do.